Good afternoon. Welcome to Jim Mungley's World of Weather. Clicked on to Long Range Weather Forecast Discussion for November 14th to 28th. Uh, just to mention here that the Volar uh, Portex, Vortex is um, May weekend during the week 2 or 3 of December as per the GFS. And we'll take a look at that. Let me see if I have the right map up. Okay, during the GFS, we have some warming going on uh, here by... Um, Alaska and across the northern latitudes and uh, and across Asia I knew I was missing a map and the poles looks uh, looks more impressive and this can lead to the displacement of the polar vortex and will lead for cold air to move into the middle latitudes the European shows an increase in blocking let me go to that I don't know if I have the, the map. Okay, well, anyway, the European shows increased blocking across Canada, which can lead to cold air into the Midwest and the Northeast. So, um, during the period from November 14th to the 18th, uh, we have generally a zone of flow across the nation. We still have our ridge here. This is part of the ridge that extends back to Asia across Canada leading to warming we still have below normal heights across much of the uh, polar regions Canada and into the northern US and we have this ridge here across the Gulf of Mexico into the Southwest Atlantic with above normal heights across the lower United States so during this period let me go to another map we will have a couple of Pacific systems that will move into the Northwest and parts of the Rockies. And this could bring above normal precipitation to the region. Now, um, the European members have precipitation possibly reaching the portions of the Southwest. And below normal, uh, below normal temperatures are forecast across much of the region, then moderate as height rises. And then a, a front will push through the East later on in the week by um, Sunday right here and much of the precipitation be closer to the low as it moves across uh, the Great Lakes and into Canada we're looking at the period for November 19th to 23rd and we continue to have a whoops that um, there are signs here let me go to this the European that the ridge whoops I keep moving it the ridge here that's across the North Atlantic joining forces with the ridge that is across the Northeast Pacific into the West this forces a trough down into the Northeast ridge in the West we're going to see a, an above normal heights across much of Western North America and we're going to see how this pans out that's the only moss shown. Otherwise, most of the moss continue to indicate a zone of flow above normal heights across the country. Below normal heights are forecast across much of the polar regions um, and across Canada. There's indications for a trough here across the northeast and the northwest. So during this forecast period, I am forecasting. above normal temperature for the west for much uh, above normal temperature forecast for much of the, of the country except for the northeast and I'm forecasting anomalies of 6 to 12 degrees above normal and below normal temperatures forecast here across the northeast with the anomalies of 2 to 4 degrees below normal for precipitation calling for above normal precipitation for this region here probability of occurrence is about uh, 40 percent and then we have below normal precipitation across that which is the mississippi valley to the atlantic coast what the probability of occurrence is 35 to 55 percent now the period for november 24th to 28th little overall change expected in the flow you see most of the miles here have below normal heights here 
above normal heights zone of flow across much of the country. A little bit of a troughing here that extends into the northwest. That's how the models show it. But again, the European ensembles continue to have strong positive height anomalies across much of this region here. The Arctic and the high latitudes indicating of warming that might be taking place forcing the trough here in the northeast. You guys see how that comes through. We might have a model correction later on in the period, but for now, I'm forecasting for this forecast period, forecasting above normal temperatures for much of the country, and I'm forecasting anomalies of 6 to 12 degrees above normal for precipitation, above normal precipitation forecast for this region, probability of occurrence. <clears throat> excuse me, is about uh, 40%. And then we have below normal precipitation forecast for this region here. And the probability of occurrence is 35%. Now we're going to look at Ada and another possible tropical system that might develop. We'll go to the map. Here's Ada here. Looks like it's in good shape here. Uh, might become a hurricane. Probably is a hurricane by now. And we're going to look at the current track. This is what we're forecasting it to move. It's supposed to recurve out here. We'll put the cone of uncertainty in. And you can see it's pretty much clustered now. It's in good agreement moving out over the Atlantic. Now we're going to look at the area of disturbed weather down across the Caribbean. This is another tropical wave. Um, it looks pretty good. It's developing more. We have some overshooting tops. You can see the, um, let me see if I can get, it. you can see a lot of um, overshooting tops across this region here. And um, this could become a um, tropical system uh, within the next day or two or if not by over the weekend as it continues to move in this into the westward direction. So that is the long range weather forecast discussion for November 14th to 28th. Thanks for coming to Jamonley's World of Weather and have a good day.